Hi everyone. Now in this session, let us discuss about a serial binary adder. The name itself, serially binary digits will be added together and gives the sum as output. So for this, what we require, we are going to design a sequential circuit for the serial binary adder, which requires one full adder and one D flip flop. So here, a full adder, which takes a series of binary inputs. And to, uh, to give a series of binary inputs as input to the full adder, we need a shift registers. So we are taking the help of a shift registers, which are called serial input, serial output, shift registers. So two shift registers are there by which we will feed input to the full adder. Since a full adder takes three bits as input, two bits and one carry bit and it produce output and this is sum and this will be the carry and the sum will also be pushed into the final output sum will also be pushed into a another register which is called serial input serial output register so which we require a full adder and one d flip flop to give the carry as input to the full adder so in order to carry out the serial binary addition process so here these two are the shift register serial input serial output register as we know serial input serial output register how it works so if it is a 4 bit serial input serial output register first uh, the the bits will be shifted here so one for example 0 1 1 0 is there first this will bit will go out and uh, the next bit one will replace this 0 bit position and then this bit will move here and then this bit will move here and this will be empty. So like that serially all the bits will be shifted by one place. So that is what happening in serial register that is a shift register. Serial input, serial output, shift registers. So serially data will be in into the register and serially data will be out into the out from the register. So these are the two registers. And what is happening now here we are going to add two four bit binary numbers. Let us say number one is double one zero one and number two is one zero double one. Now we are adding these two uh, two binary numbers number one and number two. So what uh, should be the result here one one zero sum zero carry one and again one one means sum zero carry one. 1 1 when 2 bits are added 1 1 means 2 2 means 1 0 sum is 0 carry 1 triple 1 means 3 3 means 1 1 so sum is 1 carry 1 so this is the final carry understand these are the internal carries and this one is the final carry so finally what is the output we need to get here sum is 1 triple 0 with a carry of 1 this is what we need to get from serial uh, binary addition process when these two numbers were added together. Now let me check uh, how this serial binary adder uh, sequential circuit will work. So first of all uh, A naught bit and B naught bit will be these two are A naught A1 A2 A3 B naught B1 B2 B3 first A naught B naught bits which, which were um, admitted here. So then A naught B naught bit will uh, forces to move into the full adder. So these two bits are uh, 1 and 1 only. So these two bits are 1 and 1 only. So A is 1, B is 1. Initially carry is 0. When these two bits are added, so 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 means 1, 0. Sum is 0, carry 1. So now sum is entered into S3. Then carry out will be 1. So this is 1 here. So using D flip flop, this carry out which enters as input to the D flip flop and the output of the flip flop will be equal to 0. Now which will be carry in to the next step. Understand? So these two bits A naught B naught addition process over then um, where that data will be stored S, S3 which contains 0. A1, B, A0, B0 added, C in 0, sum is 0, carry 1, that sum is stored in S3, carry C out, which will be directed to the next step, which is nothing but C in. And the next A1, B1, A1 is 0, B1 is 1, which will be added here. So, actually, uh, here 0 and 1 is there. This was moved out. The, in the next clock pulse, this is for the first clock pulse. And in the next clock pulse, 0, 1 moves here. 0 moves here. 1 moves here. Now, this becomes a 0 and this becomes 1. 0, 1. And we have uh, carry 
uh, 1 here. Now carry is 1 here. So 0, 1, 1 means again 2. 2 is equal to 1, 0. So now 0 is the sum and again carry is 1. So now in order to enter this 0 here, this uh, actually 0 placed here which moves into S2. Now 0 will be replaced here. Now this is 0 and here we have 0. So like this A1, B1 bits were added with serial uh, bit admission uh, phenomena. And next when A2, B2 were added 1, 0. Then A0 is 1, B0 is 0. Previously we have the carry out of 1. When 1, 0, 1 these two were added again 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 means sum 0 carry 1. So now. Uh, this sum will be entered here. So already previously stored 0 which will be shifted like this. So this 0 which will be shifted here and this 0 which will be shifted here. So S3, S2, S1 were filled up. Next finally the last two bits A3, B3 were both are equal to 1. So this is 1. B, no, B3 is also equal to 1. Then previously carry out will be carry into this step C1. Now 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 3 means 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 3 means sum 1 carry 1. Okay. So this sum 1 already 0, 0, 0 are there. Now we need to admin 1 here. This uh, which will be moved into the next cell then one which will be replaced or stored in S3. So finally we have the sum bits as 1 triple 0 with a carry of 1. Okay. So this is what the normal addition process carry on. Here the sum will be 1 triple 0 and the carry will be 1 only. Okay. So this is what happening in serial binary adder. The serial binary adder which adds two numbers which are having binary bits that may be two bits or four bits or eight bits like that we can add these binary numbers serially using the shift registers and full adder as well as a d flip flop full adder is used to add the bits and d flip flop is used to carry out the carry generated in the previous step to the next step okay I hope you understand the serial binary addition process. Thank you.